makeup looks crazy because I was in the middle of doing my makeup when I realized that I only had 10 minutes left to um, put a stick in this and um, this has started asking me for sticks as well. Um, yes, day 12. Cycle day 12, um, I have now gotten a high reading on both monitors for a couple days, so that's when I start doing these as well um, to make sure that I don't miss my surge. Um, I'm going to get the stick. about that before I even started recording. Okay, got the sticks, a pair of scissors. up the one photo. It takes the longest develop to develop, so I'm going to dip that one first. You just rip open the package. A little strip will be in there. This is the end that you um, dip into your urine, and it has a little line. Don't dip it any further than that line. on the package it says to dip it for like three to five seconds I always go ahead and just dip mine for ten because uh, I'm kind of a fast counter okay um, dies running across that sit down and develop. Um, now I'm going to dip both of these sticks for 20 seconds. Sorry, I just showed you guys my urine cup. Um, I didn't even think about it. Okay. Now that the dye is running, we're going to power this on. It says cycle day 12. As you can see, it has the little arrow. Um, over here, pointing in towards where you put the stick. I'm going to make sure that I have the stick with the little notch lying down. Stick the notch in there and then press it flat down until you hear it click. Then it will start flashing with a stick.
with no arrows indicating that it's reading it. Okay, now for the other monitor. I hope I have not missed my window. Okay, now I have not. Test day. I'm gonna hurry up and stick that stick in there. Then it starts saying identify and test, please wait. And it and once it starts reading highs, um in the beginning it said up here fertility testing and looking for estrogen surge, but once it has detected your estrogen surge, it will give you a high, and then after that, as you can see on here, it will tell you that it is now looking for an LH surge, so I'm going to set that down and let it continue doing what it's doing. Um, I've actually been doing the one foes for the past few days. Um, the top one is from the 30th. The middle is yesterday. And the bottom one is from this morning. get these lined up. Okay. Now let's see if we can get it to focus. The line's not very dark, but they are progressing. Um, And this morning's test was the darkest. We'll see what this afternoon's test looks like compared to this morning here in a minute. Um, those develop for 10 minutes. Um, and I have my crease done on this eye and not on this eye because I was literally in the middle of doing my makeup because I have watched a tutorial on um, doing makeup earlier and um, wanted to do my makeup like that so here we are right in the middle of it and um, while these are still testing I'm going to attempt to do a little bit more of my makeup. So that I don't look so crazy. minutes on both of the monitors.
developing. forget to test on cycle day 13. And at the bottom it says LH surge not yet detected. Continue to test as requested. I wish I could maybe Like that's about as good as I'm gonna be able to get it to go. Okay. A cool little feature that this one actually has um, that. you from the home screen which looks like that click your calendar and then this is what's going to come up Well, luckily you guys, my tripod came in, so we're not going to have any of this trying to figure out how to get you to be able to see what I'm seeing and all of that nonsense anymore. But from this screen, okay, um, down at the bottom where that eye is, beside the home button, if you press that... It will do a cycle summary for you, and it's just kind of a um, their version of a graph for um, your cycle. So, um, which 
which this one actually for my last cycle wouldn't it timed me out of it um, it wouldn't let me go past um, the 44 days my last cycle was actually 59 days um, but we're still at a high cycle day 12 and that is really early for me because this one gave me a high um, the first day that it gave me a high was on cycle day 10. So um, that's really early for me. And this is what the test stick looks like. Um, estrogen line is much lighter than some of, let me get out yesterday's test test is the bottom test and then we have um, cycle day 10 11 and and then we're going to compare it to a low at the top is the low and see how dark that estrogen line is cycle day 10 um, it gets a little bit lighter gradually cycle day 11 looks like the lightest and um, or cycle day 12 which is this 11 looks like the lightest this is today's and it looks like the LH is getting a little bit darker than yes sometimes the changes are not that noticeable to the eye um, and that's why you use the monitor because um, it does the interpretation for you so um, we'll take we'll see what this monitor says which we're simply going to power it on As I left the stick in it and take it out. Just 
take it out and cycle day 12. It has two bars, which is high. So they're both still reading high. And this is what the stick in that one. estrogen yeah now you can see the really really faint LH line which is the line towards over here and this line over here is the estrogen line and if we this one was yesterday Yesterday's is on the bottom. will be happy to know that you're not going to have to um, look at these crappy quality videos anymore because my tripod did come in and all of my videos will be being filmed um, with my good camera and the tripod from now on. And it actually looks like I am going to be peaking within the next few days, which this is why I use the Wanfos. Alright, the second. And S. I did a, F, a first morning urine with one, and the differences in the line. I need to stick them into my little case that holds them. Top one is October 30th. Next one down is the first and then the two bottom ones are today. Top FMU, bottom SMU. As you can see, um, that line is starting to get much darker than it was before. I'll just compare um, today's to the 30th. 
now so you can see the difference in the darkness. sometime today and um, please remember to like and subscribe um, down below it really helps me out a lot and if you have any comments or questions um, I'm more than happy to chat or answer any questions you guys have a great day